Improved prosthetic devices, trauma care practices, and products for combat medics all result from the work of researchers. The Defense Medical Research and Development Program sponsors medical research with a goal of better preparing combat medics to treat wounded and ill service members. The focus is entirely on wounded warrior medical research. It offers hope for for those who, who need treatment for a disorder, for an injury, for, for an illness. The Defense Medical Research and Development Program was established to direct research in critical need areas relevant to battlefield experiences. Our focus areas are primarily in the area of traumatic brain injury, wound infection, psychological health to include post-traumatic stress disorder, research in suicide, and also research in resilience. And also we have a focus on clinical and rehabilitative medicine research. It's sort of centralized planning, programming, and budgeting. And then we allocate through the services funding to conduct and sponsor, sponsor medical research and development. The services are represented in the Defense Medical Research and Development Program through the Joint Program Committees and those committees have representatives of all the services. We, we put out what's called a request for proposals so that outside researchers can apply. They could be from other federal agencies, they could be from universities, they could be from private companies. As proposals come in, they're reviewed by the, by the committees and prioritized, and with each service's representation on those committees, they have a, they have a voice in how the programs are prioritized. They cover everything from uh, stopping bleeding in the battlefield to better wound infection control to better ways of healing uh, injuries and bone regrowth to areas of improving even the operator's ability to sustain hypoxia at altitude and recover quickly. The primary goal is to ensure that we set up an office and a process that effectively executes the dollars that we've been given in, in an appropriate manner uh, in accordance with all the rules and regulations that m manage money and funding that you receive from the department. The other goal is to get out as fast as we can the most mature technology to help the critical warfighter needs. Research is leading to better point of injury care, training guidelines, refined surgical techniques, and better medical products in the hands of medics. If a wounded service member reaches the medical treatment facility alive, the chance of survival is very high, 89.9%. Combat casualty care has, has changed the way of medical care. We now have survival rates that exceed anything historical. Uh, where we're talking of 15% casualty rates as opposed to 22 to 24, which it had been in the Civil War, the First World War, the Second World War, Vietnam, and the First Gulf War. Uh, but the large part of our program in this concept is to identify those areas where we can do a better job. And so we're looking at those products that can help them to, to go back to the military or to go back to society and have as wonderful a life as they can have uh, following their release from the military. What our focus is, is to make sure whatever way we're practicing medicine today to treat TBI, PTSD, and, and the other injuries and illnesses, whatever we're doing today, we modernize that so we're doing a better job five years from now. For more information, visit fhpr.osd.mil slash research and development.